morning guys, it is June 1st, 2021. This one here I got a call from a guy, um, he's got a problem with a boiler blowing the relief valve. He said someone was over there a month ago and he changed the relief valve, he's still having issues. Uh, over the weekend he says it's let loose five gallons a couple of times, so I'm thinking it's... We're gonna go over there and drain the pressure off and check the expansion tank first of all. And uh, if that's not it, it could be a feeder or it could be a storage tank leaking. I explained to him on the phone what I'm gonna do, and supposedly I can get in over there with a from the bulkhead. So new customer, it's a highly sophisticated individual, I, I believe here. Oh yeah, man, well, he's a highly sophisticated individual. Oh yeah. But anyway, we're gonna go over there and take care of the guy and see what's going on. Hopefully, it's the expansion tank's bad. Uh, Hopefully it's not a 60, because I like, I like stock and the truck is a 30. I think I have a 60 in the garage, I'm not sure. We'll go check it out, see what we got for pressure. And uh, we'll get you some shots when I get there. I'm thinking that this is like culprit. Maybe. Kind of a queer spot to have a gauge. They should have spun it. Yeah, she's dripping now. It's gonna be replaced too because you can see it's all schmaggy. I really can't even see. I'm gonna have to drain it down and check this pressure. <sighs> what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a little bit of pressure off and not a lot. We should all these off for now. Shut the supply off. And then all the returns for now. I'm gonna check this tank. We gotta take the pressure off it though. So what are we gonna? Should be a boiler drain here somewhere. In the very bottom there. Maybe I'll just hook up to one of these purge valves. I've got one right here. I could use this one. Use this purge valve here on the store. Because I'm going to have to purge all these zones after anyway. I want to right, right out the window here. I took the window out. Went right out with the hose. Got the feeder off. Got the feeder off. Got them all off right there. I'm going to check this tank. I'm gonna open it here, take the pressure off the boiler. I'm gonna change that relief valve too, cause it's, she's leaking. I'm thinking I'm gonna have maybe four pounds or something in there. Got this on the PSI. Let's see what we got here. Two is our problem right there. Is our problem. 
Hey, how you doing? Steve Labamonia calling calling you back about what's going on with your boiler. Yes, please. Okay, the expansion thing's definitely bad because I, I drained the boiler, put the, take the pressure off the boiler. It should be 12 pounds of air pressure on the tank. It's only got yeah. two. So what's happening is when you're heating water, it's supposed to expand into that tank with that 12 pounds keeping it steadily, you know, uh, 12 to 15 pounds. Seeing you only got two pounds in there, you're building up pressure and blowing the relief valve. So I got to change the tank, and that relief valve is still dripping. So I got to change that also, even though it's only a month old, it's all crusty and everything. So if I don't change it, it's going to continue to drip. So I'm going to change the relief valve and the expansion tank, and then you should be fine. That sounds great. I want to take care of it, okay? And I'll leave the bill right on top of the boiler. On top of the boiler, okay, I'll check it tonight. Thank you. Yep, bye. Okay, bye. All right, so we're going to change this expansion tank and that relief valve, and we should be good. It shouldn't be that heavy because there's pressure in it, so. Usually I don't like adding pressure to them if they're, if they're out like that. So let me get into the tank. And uh, we'll change it out. Let's put it last. Five years. This is the wrench I use to get these off. It's an eight inch wrench and you could put a piece of pipe on the end. If you need leverage. Because usually if it's in the uh, if it's in an air scoop, you don't have a lot of room here. So that's why I like these are skinny. It's a skinny mini, mama. I'm gonna get on the right. It might might be heavy, but I don't think so. Shouldn't have any pressure in it. Maybe a little bit. pounds in that tank. Now when it heats up it should expand. The only thing that's questionable with this is the size of the house. Maybe it should have been a 60. This is a big ass house here. That's the only thing that's got me questioning that is the size of it. But there was a 30 in there so we're gonna put a 30 back. I don't have a 60 with me. We're gonna change that relief valve also. Rusty. Best to change it. Might be a little bit of water in there because I'm a little I'm a little higher with the holes, right? Probably gonna be some in there, but a little water never hurt nobody. Smurf jism on him, huh? Seeing that other one was compromised, I just as soon change it. That's a 
30 pound on a leaf. Not a 15. Some of the steam would be 15. That's a 30. Feet are stuck. Watch. Alright, so we're gonna, I'm gonna go through this one here first and purge this. Want to feed? I don't think that gauge is accurate. I don't think that gauge is accurate. Because that's on the supply. Is that on the supply? And that's on the return. I opened up all three of these. We're just gonna probably second floor. I might do that one. It's all packed, so you have to be careful. You don't want to build up too much pressure. It's all packs. pressure and bowl of relief. So we know it's purging. <sighs> We're going to do all three of these. Again, you don't want to open this up too much because you don't want to blow the relief so we're kind of going easy with it. I'm kind of just opening it up a little bit because it's pecs. And what happens with the pecs is you can put too much pressure on the blow the relief out. We don't want to do that. It stinks so it's coming back cold. We know we've got a good purge on it. Dining room, probably don't even have to do that one because we really didn't play with that. There's really not a lot of air in it anyway. Third one, why not? Well, yeah, might as well do it. I 
let's back flush it like this too. It's good to clean out this feeder. I don't know how accurate that, uh, that gauge is. I might have should have been off the side so you can see it better. And it should be supposed to have it. This is fine. Open these back up. We should be good to go. Turn the power on. Alright, so I put a new expansion tank. New relief valve and I purged the zones. And that should take care of this issue. I told him the storage tank could have an issue, but probably that was what the problem was. Circulator on the supply and all zone valves. They turn the power back on. They put his window back. And he should be ready to go. I added some stickers. I got these stickers, had these stickers made. This way right here in the Pull on an oil tank over there. I got a whole bunch of them. I'm gonna start putting them on on the different jobs that I go on. And uh, looks like he's got people doing service on it. It's a big house, so I don't know if that tank's gonna be. I might have to come back and put a 60 on there. I'm not sure. I would have put a 60 on this job, but we'll see if he calls me back. We'll put the bucket back under there. So push it now. Right about 12 pounds, that's what we want to be. They should have spun that gauge so you could see it. It's a shitty spot for it. <clears throat> couple, of, couple of oil tanks. Too much bypass, inch and a quarter. Inch and a quarter fill and inch and a half vent. 